many, 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 many more hundreds of eggs are fertilized than become humans. Eggs get fertilized, and by that I mean sperm get accepted by ova a lot. But that's not all you need. You have to attach to the uterine wall, the inside of, the, of a, a womb, a woman's womb. But if you're going to hold that as a standard, that is to say, if you're going to say <clears throat> when an egg is fertilized, it's therefore all, has the same rights as an individual, then who are you going to sue? whom are you going to sue? Whom are you going to imprison? Every woman who's had a fertilized egg pass through her? Every guy whose sperm has fertilized an egg and then it didn't become a human? Have all these people failed you? Uh, it's just a reflection of a deep scientific lack of understanding. And uh, you, you, you literally, or you apparently literally don't know what you're talking about. And so uh, uh, when it comes to women's rights with respect to their reproduction, I think you should leave it to women. It's really, uh, you cannot help but notice. I mean, I'm not the first guy to observe this. You have a lot of men of European descent passing these extraordinary laws based on ignorance. I'm I, I, sorry, you guys. I know it was written, or your interpretation of a book written 5,000 5, years ago, uh, 50 centuries ago, makes you think that when a man and a woman have sexual intercourse, they always have a baby. That's wrong. And so to pass laws based on that belief is inconsistent with nature. I mean, it's hard not to get frustrated with this, everybody. Uh, and I know it, nobody likes abortion, okay? But you can't tell somebody what to do. I mean, she has rights over this, especially if she doesn't like the guy that got her pregnant. Like, she doesn't want anything to do with your genes. Get over it, especially if she were raped and all this. So uh, it's very frustrating on the, on the outside, on the other side. Uh, we have so many more important things to be dealing with. We have so many more problems to squander resources on this argument based on bad science, on just lack of understanding. It's very frustrating. You wouldn't know how big a human egg was if it weren't for microscopes, if it weren't for scientists who are medical researchers looking diligently. You wouldn't know the process. You wouldn't have that shot, the famous shot or shots where the sperm are bumping up against the egg. You wouldn't have that without science. So then to claim that you know the next step when you obviously don't is trouble. When you, okay, let me do that again. Let me just pull back. At some point, we have to respect the facts. Recommending or insisting on abstinence has been completely ineffective. Just being objective here. Uh, closing abortion clinics, closing, uh, not getting, giving women access to birth control has not been an effective way to lead to healthier societies. This, I mean, I think we all know that. And I understand that you have deeply held beliefs and you want to, and it really is ultimately out of respect for people, in this case, your perception of unborn people. I understand that. But I really encourage you to look at the facts. And I know people are now critical of the expression fact-based. But what's wrong with that? <laughs> so I just really encourage you to not tell women what to do and not pursue these laws that really are in nobody's best interest. Just really be objective about this. We have other problems to solve, everybody. Come on. Come on. Let's work together.